What's going on, Solid Stuff? Is this Ms. Ward coming to you this morning? It's been an eventful week, y'all. Eventful. I haven't seen y'all for a minute because I've been trying to do too many things at one time. But that's okay. That's how we learn. Believe it. Today is story time. And guess what story time talks about? Know thyself. I feel like when you know yourself, you ain't got to worry about hurting you or nobody else. I feel like when you have goals and aspirations, be clear about those goals and aspirations. And don't drag nobody else into your stuff. You know, that has always been my motto. And, you know, I try to do something a little different and I learned a lesson. That nobody's going to love you better than you. Nobody's going to have your back better than you. No one's going to have your interests better than you. And at the end of the day, you got to be on your game. You got to have your stuff together. And all things will go well. Prime example. I never understood the meaning of no new friends until this year. You know, I thought I was antisocial before. And I know that's kind of hard to believe. Seeing that I have a, a channel. I have a channel because I really want people to see the struggle is real. But also I want them to see what you got to go through to get to. I don't want to sugarcoat it because... A lot of people out here selling dreams and whoop tickets and they have no idea what it takes and the sacrifice you have to make to be successful. People who are truly, truly successful for the long time, long term, they have made those sacrifices and they don't even look back. You know, and they're very clear that some relationships and situations have to be severed to the very, <laughs> the very level of conception. You know what I mean? And when I say that, no new friends, you know, if, at this point in the game, if you don't have a support system around you that feeds into what you feed into, that, that believes the way you believe, and that takes you to the next level, then you need to really check yourself. You know, I'm lucky to have some touch points in my life I can do that with, but I'm not dependent on them. I reach when I need to reach, and they keep me focused and clear about my goals and my path. Because the bottom line, if I'm not achieving goals and, and, and doing what I need to do, then I'm never going to be happy. And if I'm not going to the next level the way I need to go to the next level, I'm never going to be happy. And when you understand that, you know, people have a really warped concept of what happiness is. You know, for me, happiness is achievement, um, goal setting, and reaching those goals and being a better you, physically, mentally, and spiritually. And anytime any of those things are all kilter, you're not going to be your best self. I don't care what they tell you. You can go out here and get plastic surgery. You can get everything nipped and tucked. You can do this and that. But if internally you have some concerns, you got to address those concerns. You know, number one. Number two, do not get involved with people who don't bring anything to the table. And it doesn't have to be financially. It could be as simple as, you know... Being able to hold a conversation, an intellectually and start stimulating conversation, being a thought leader, bringing things to the table to keep your mind alert and aware, um, following their dreams and aspirations, being an inspiration for you. I mean, the day of being involved with situations and people who have nothing to bring to the table except for drama and broken dreams is over. And I think it's crazy that we're in a world where people think stuff is going to get be given to them or they can exchange some, uh, let's just say, favors and something's going to happen. At the end of the day, you know, nothing is, is gotten for nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so I just really pride myself on surrounding myself with people who are out here doing it on a daily basis, you know. But when I say no new friends, don't add unnecessary dead weight to your life. Take it from me. Life is too short. It really is. And if you're going to get out here and get it, get it like the like you're really supposed to. Grind, grind, grind. And, and don't apologize for that grind. Because the people who got a problem with it don't have nothing. And when I say they don't have nothing, they have absolutely nothing. Nothing to bring to the table. Nothing to show for their time on this earth. And I'm not knocking nobody because I feel like everybody has to start over once, two, three, four, five times in life. What my issue is, why stay there when you can strive not only to be the best, but you can be your best self. 
You don't have to be anybody else's best. But you know, as of late, I've just seen some things and it's been quite interesting. It really helped put some things in perspective for me about what I need to do, what I need to focus on, that I have been so accurate in my focus and that you know, I listen to other people about slowing down, doing this, enjoying that, and enjoying this. But I think a lot of that's overrated. I'm going to be straight up with you. Because at the end of the day, if you out here enjoying spending money doing this, and then you still empty at the end because what and who you enjoying it with can't stimulate your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit, they bring nothing, then what are you doing? Like, what are you really doing? I mean, that's some real talk, man. It's crazy that there are people out here just broken. They want to bring their brokenness in your life. They want to mess up your world. And they don't even realize they're doing it because they're so trapped in that level of mediocrity. It's crazy that they have accepted nothingness in their life. They try stuff, start it, can't finish it. And I'm not knocking nobody. See, I don't want nobody to think I'm knocking anyone because I understand what that looks like. I have the same challenges, but I just keep getting up and keep trying because who else going to do it but me? But let me tell you, watch who you're around, watch what you do and how you do it and who you do it with. You know, shout out to my folks, Ike, my boy got my back, Taylor, always got my back, Wendy, my dog in the A, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, every one of these people I name got something going on in their life that's positive. They bring something in my life that supports me and my dreams and my goals. And at the end of the day, I can't ask for nothing more. I'm just keeping it real. You know? That is truly a blessing, man. I like walking. I'm looking at these people on these corners with these signs. I'm like, come on, man. Grown ass man, go get a job, bro. But we created them. Because you guys out here giving them money, they got habits or whatever their issues are. At the end of the day, America is the greatest country you can be in. If you ain't got nothing and don't want nothing, that's on you. And that's just fact. Be blessed, y'all. Had to get that off my chest. Got so much more to say, but I'm going to just keep it 100. It's time to go get it. Be blessed and keep stepping solids.